Bonnie, happy Saturday. I am back. Check it out. I got my other glasses back on. I think I like these now for my filming glasses for spring. I do like these that I just got um, for driving because when I go outside in the sun, um, they turn into sunglasses, but I feel like they're a little heavy for um, my filming glasses for spring, and I like the way my eyes look in these. So these are actually from Zimf. Uh, the wonderful people at Zimf actually sent these to me for free, so I will put all their information below. But I love these glasses. These are so pretty. <laughs> so I think these will be my spring um, filming glasses. But, oh my gosh, we got more Bath & Body Works to talk about. I have so many reviews today. Um, I just want to kind of talk about a lot of stuff, including the brand new butterfly perfume. So I did a first impression of this yesterday. And I gotta say, I wore it all evening last night. Um, I actually went to a play last night. And I really liked it. A couple of people complimented me on the scent. It is really pretty. So the new perfume that Bath & Body Works has got out for spring is called butterfly. And it comes in I didn't even realize this at first, you guys. Check it out. So when you move this little slip cover, um, it makes the butterfly fly. I just thought that was a neat touch. I didn't even realize at first it did that. <laughs> Thank you to all of you, all of you who told me. <laughs> I'm like, what's a slip cover for? <laughs> so um, comes in this cute little box, really giftable for Mother's Day. And then this is what the bottle looks like. So typically Bath and Body Works perfume bottles are square. This one, I'm glad they're kind of um, experimenting with their bottles a little bit. The Pure Wonder bottle, I wasn't as excited about because it was like an opaque white. And I don't know, the opaque bottles just are not that pretty to me. I really like the clear glass. I think this one is so pretty. It would look great on a dresser. Um, it's beautiful, and I like the shape of it. And then, of course, you get the Lucite top on there. So this one, in terms of packaging, is a win. I do like the square bottles from Bath & Body Works. They look super pretty in the light. Sunshine Mimosa was gorgeous last year. It kind of had um, like a two-tone ombre thing going on. Absolutely beautiful. By the way, like I said in my last video, all of our bracelets are going to be on sale this week uh, for Easter in the Etsy store. Link is below 50% off. So I'm, I've got like three trays of bracelets I need to get on. That's my next <laughs> task today. But I had to talk about um, Butterfly. So what Bath & Body Works does when they release a perfume is that they do the travel size first, which is really nice because then you can buy the smaller one and stick it in your purse uh, for like $7. And that way, if you don't like it, you only spend $7. I started with this one. Um, it's a little bit of a little spritzer that you can put on. Oh my gosh, I like this one so much. It just is growing on me a lot. So the scent notes in Butterfly are... Raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. Now, I talked about yesterday... It is definitely, I would say, like a first cousin, maybe even a sibling um, to the Confetti Daydream. Um, we do not have Confetti Daydream, however, in a perfume. We only have it um, in the body care, in the faceted. A few people had commented, and I agree, Confetti Daydream, I feel like has a little bit more of an open air type of scent to it where butterfly to me smells a little bit more um, like a fruity floral note. And it's funny, I almost get like a raspberry ice cream vibe from it after it dries down, which I love because that's like my thing for summer. But I like this one better than I like Sunshine Mimoso when that came out. Um, Oops, that was a really horrible noise. I just turned the top. I won't do that on camera anymore. Oh my goodness, that made a really awful noise. Um, it's funny, a lot of people thought, I saw in the comments, thought that this one was like a cousin to fairy tale. I do get a little bit of a fairy tale vibe from this, only I think fairy tale is a lot heavier and um, there's a lot more elements in fairy tale that aren't in this one. I feel like so many of us um, that have smelled the butterfly are going, it's a little bit of confetti daydream. It's a little bit of a raspberry scent. It's a little bit of open sky. It's a little bit of fairy tale. It's like Bath and Body Works took 
a lot of their like scents and kind of mixed them all together <laughs> for butterfly and created this new set. But overall, I do think it's a really nice addition um, to the spring collection. I like it. It's not super strong though as a perfume. I feel like it's a little bit watered down. Um, I'd say it's like low medium in terms of like scent quality for a perfume. It almost feels like a, um, a more amped up fine fragrance mist, but it doesn't quite reach that perfume level to me um, in terms of strength. I mean, it is a lot less expensive than like a regular perfume that you might spend like $150, $200 on. These are $44.50. And then if you have a coupon, like 20% off, you're going to get it for a lot less, which is nice. Once it dries down, though, I do feel like um, it's probably got about a three or four hour lasting power, which is not a lot for a perfume. I got to say, this is one that you're probably going to be reapplying a little bit more than, you know, like I said, maybe a $100, $150, $200 perfume. And it doesn't feel like it's got like um, the depth of a more expensive perfume on the dry down. Like I said, it I kind of compared it to the Fine Fragrance Mist and I'm like, they're, they're kind of similar. <laughs> the Fine Fragrance Mist is a little bit lighter, but like I said, I would call this more of like an amped up Fine Fragrance Mist than like a full on um, rich perfume, which, you know, like I said, it's a lot less expensive than, you know, $200, but still I would have expected it to have just a little bit more, um, staying power. But overall, I'm really happy I got it. I actually do like to collect the Bath and Body Works perfumes. Every time a new one comes out, I do get it now. I like the bottles. I think they're really pretty. And because I love Bath and Body Works, it's nice to have all the perfumes. Um, the kind of sad thing about the Bath and Body Works perfumes is that like once they're gone, they're gone. You know, it's not like these come out every year. So like if you didn't get um, Sunshine Mimosa or Fairy Tale, they might have Fairy Tale still in the stores. I don't know. But you're not going to find these perfumes. So my advice is if you want Butterfly, buy it now because by the time fall rolls around, there's going to be no more Butterfly. <laughs> so anyway, um, let me know what you think of the perfume. Overall, if I were to rate this perfume on a scale of 1 to 10, I would say it's about an 8.2. We'll give it a B minus. <laughs> Only because it's not as strong as I would like it to be. Um, and it feels a little bit more like something else in the Bath and Body Works lineup that I can't quite put my finger on. I think it's a combination of everything. Um, if I was just ranking the, um, the packaging, I would say the packaging is 10. I love the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.